Yes, everybody, welcome back to another episode of the United Twins with myself, CM, and my twin bro, Cappy, on the other line. Today, we're discussing two games, Man United's victory against Wolves and our latest victory against Bournemouth at Old Trafford. Blessings to everybody inside, happy new year, and we've got something a little different for the start of this episode. So I'm going to ask you a question, and come the end of the episode, we'll reveal the answer, but don't, don't be that person and, and search on Google. Now, I know how people operate, but yeah, be sure to put in the comments if you know the answer. So Marcus Rashford against Bournemouth achieved a personal scoring record. Let us know what that particular record is. A little hint is to do with Old Trafford. That's all I'm going to say. But big up to Cappy, of course. Let's yeah. start with the Wolves game and then Cappy will cover the Bournemouth victory. So the game started with a small bit of controversy because Marcus Rashford was dropped. Uh, now we know why that was. Kind of woke up late for something. And, you know, due to the rules that have been set by Eric Ten Hag, you know, he had to be dropped or, or penalised to a certain extent. Or doing something that was wrong you know we may look at it as a minor mistake but it's also a major mistake yeah minor major yeah. what do you think anyway I'm waffling at this point yeah. I would say the game itself it was a difficult one because Wolves for the most part it was solid defensively in the first half the biggest chances came from the Smedo mistake when he attempted to play it back to Jose Saar, but ended up giving Garnacho a free one-on-one, -on -one, which wasn't cashed in, should have been 1-0 then. And then the second came right at the end of the half when Martial has a free header from a Garnacho deflected cross, but he fails to get the right connection needed. And, you know, that one there, you have to score that one, you have to get better connection and possibly it's 1-0, possibly it's 2-0 if Garnacho takes his chances earlier. But... You know, the patterns continued going forward in the second half. So the second half was similar regarding the fact that United just struggled to break walls down. And in the end, with 15 minutes to go, when Bruno and Marcus Rashford connected via a lucky bounce along the way, there was a moment of relief within myself at least, and I'm sure many other Manchester United fans, because those three points would become even more important a few days later and Big Caps over there is going to tell you why. Well, 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 we are back again. Big up to everybody. I have to say it myself. A Manchester United beat Bournemouth 3-0 at Old Trafford on Tuesday and it was the perfect result. See, these are the games we need to win in order to capitalise on the mistakes of those above us seeing. Right. Spurs lost to Villa the other day. Newcastle and Arsenal drew. You can even look back to when City dropped points against Everton. Positions are there for the taking. After the Everton and Charlton Cup games, we'll be facing City and Arsenal back to back. Some tough tests, but we'll see what happens when we get there. Back to the game. Goes from Classy Miro. Shout out to the chat on the State of United watch along. CM will talk about it a little more later. Luke Shaw and Marcus Rashford. We took advantage of Bournemouth's defensive frailties and took our chances well. There were moments in the first and even more so in the second half where the game was open. And we needed to control and have better game management. But those things are to be worked on going forward in the future so that we do get better and there's still progression to be made. I think it's important to remember that this team is still very much so in the beginning stages of a rebuild. You're being retaught new methods of the game and then you have to make it become muscle memory. That is a hard thing to do, especially with adults who have been learning for two, three years, maybe one style of play and then all of a sudden that gets thrown out of the window and you've got to learn a new one. But we'll get many inconsistencies through the timeline, no doubt. But days like on Tuesday, where you can get the job done and focus on the next is what you want to see against most opponents that you think United should be beating with all due respect. But anyway, people, 
we have come to the end of the episode of the United Twins. I do want to do a few promo shout outs on Friday, 7 4 to 5 p.m. UK time. Catch CM for the stay United. Watch along. It's going to be the FA Cup game, FA Cup third round, United versus Everton. So look out for that. We'll have a United Twins reaction episode after that in a day or two. So look out on this channel. Be sure to hit a like, subscribe to the channel. And we've got an answer to the question. If you reach the very end, put a Rashi in the comments if you reach the very end of the episode. And the answer. So uh, we're just going to throw in a clip of CM saying the question at the beginning. Marcus Rashford against Bournemouth achieved a personal scoring record. Let us know what that particular record is. So did you get it? We're going to be looking at the comments, you know. We're going to find out. We're going to do a little check to make sure no Google is used because we've got the, the special powers that be. So be sure to, to put in the comments. You know, I hope you did put in the comments by now. Because if I, if you're going to put in the comments now, then it's kind of looking a bit booky. But anyway, the answer to the question, waffling, that's what I do best. But anyway. Marcus Rashford against Bournemouth scored for three consecutive games in the league at Old Trafford for the very first time in his career. Congratulations to Marcus Rashford in some blistering form right now. But that is the answer to the question. If you got it correct, put a one in the chat. If you use Google, put a two in the chat. And if you didn't bother, put a three in the chat. Be sure to drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new. And until the next time, we'll see you a lot sooner.